Good morning, all. We're going to expand our knowledge. We're going to blow our minds with this DC motor right here. Now, it is a 240 volt armature motor, and that's on the red and black wires. That's A plus and A minus going to the armature. We have a stabilized shunt field on the green and white wires. Now what happens if your DC drive does not supply the field to your motor? Well, let's figure out a solution. <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be good. If your DC drive does not create the field, usually they do, but sometimes they don't. You can make a field with a bridge rectifier and a variac. So here, let's show that to you. Here's our bridge rectifier. It's actually three phase, but we're only using L1 and L2 going into that bridge rectifier. And right here, this is your L1 and L2. Here's your DC plus and DC minus outputs that we're going to connect to the field with these two red wires. The green wires we're going to connect to the variac. So first, let's take our DC out of that bridge rectifier, connect it to our field wires. That's the green and the white wires. I'm going to use wire nuts to perform the connection. There's one to the white wire. And one to the green wire. Now let's go get our variac. Now I've got it all turned down. The variac turned down to zero volts. And the cheater cord, we're going to connect the AC output of the variac to the line input of the bridge rectifier. AC input of the variac to an outlet. Okay, we turned off. Let's power up. There we go. The variac is turned on. Let me go get my meter. We'll adjust that variac so that we have a DC voltage for the field. Now that we have our connections of the bridge rectifier to the field's white and green wire, I put my red lead on plus of the bridge rectifier, black lead on minus of the bridge rectifier, and I'm going to increase the variac until we have 150 volts DC. And you can hear the windings of the field singing in there. We have 150 volts DC field voltage. Now, you have field voltage that was created not from a DC drive, but from a very active bridge rectifier. Next, this DC motor does not have tack feedback. And every now and then, many times actually, your DC drive will need some kind of feedback. And it is 
either armature feedback, but the drive looks at the output of the, across the armature, or it will use TAC feedback. Well, this DC motor does not have TAC feedback. Well, how do you get TAC feedback if your motor does not have TAC feedback? Well, let's see how we can do that. Let me turn that uh, field voltage off real quick. And we will make TAC feedback to this DC motor. Another trick to put in your toolbox. Here we have a 90 volt DC motor. It's a permanent magnet motor. It does not require fuel voltage. It's a permanent magnet. And A1 and A2, armature 1 and armature 2, or armature plus and armature minus, that's these white wires right here. We're not going to use those. But this 90 volt DC motor has tack feedback. It's 7 volts per 1,000 revolutions per minute on this blue and black wire. That's where we're going to get our tack. But first, we have to couple this shaft of that motor to this shaft of this motor. Get my ranch. There you go. Look at that. Now you have your 240 volt armature motor with field. And when that this DC motor rotates, you will have a tack voltage from this 90 volt DC motor. Throw my tools around. <laughs> There you go. That is that is awesome. And it actually works. I've run this configuration before. I've run this motor on a DC drive with the fuel created from the bridge re uh, rectifier and the variac and tack feedback to that very drive with this 90 volt DC motor. There's another thing you can put in your toolbox. Probably the hardest part about this is finding a coupler that will mate your tack feedback to your 10 horsepower DC motor.
There you go. Oh. Today was a day of learning. <laughs> no repairs today. Just expanding our minds with new knowledge. It's always, it's always a fantastic thing to learn something new. And I hope you all learned something here. How to make a fuel voltage if your drive doesn't have one. And how to make tack feedback if your motor doesn't have one. <laughs> okay. Let's get on out of here, folks. We got some chores to do at the house. I've been trying to declutterize. Uh, but uh, that's another story. <laughs> Have a good day, all. I hope you all uh, can take and use this knowledge. Knowledge is free. Doesn't cost you anything. We'll see you next time. <laughs>